Hi guys, it's Daniel from the Tech Plague, and today we're here with a Photoshop tutorial. Uh, we're going to teach you how to make like a cool background of sorts. So first, we're going to do is create new by default. Uh, it should have your resolution in there, but it hasn't done mine, so I'm just going to change that to one nine two zero by one zero eight zero. I'm going to call it YouTube background. So YouTube background. Of course, you can call this whatever you want. So now you've got your blank white image. It's not much of a background as you've probably noticed. So the first thing we're going to do is go File, Open. I personally, I've got a 8000 GFX pack. Uh, I'll put a link to download this in the description. But you want to get a texture for the background initially. Uh, if I could make this thumbnail a bit bigger, that would be just great. So you want to go through and find one that you think would look cool with whatever idea you've got. For example, that you can change your mind at any time. There's of course you just go open and then just load in a different one. You just don't use that other one. So you could go through and choose like that. So you want to double click on the background layer and press enter to unlock it. Go to select and drag that into your other page. And you might find it doesn't fit completely. If it does, that's great. If it doesn't it's not not a big issue you can press control T and resize it and you can see mine doesn't fit on completely so I'm actually gonna just slide that up like that it still looks alright so you can go on a website called Defont and download some really cool fonts I'm using one called Verb and Vibes extended so you just write text whatever text you want to write in there however big you want it I'm gonna take it down to like 60 probably so now you've got your text in the center. Now you can only do this in Photoshop CS6, but you want to right click that text and go down and click new 3D extrusion from a selected layer. I suggest you go to the 3D workspace for this next step. As you can see, it's now got like a small 3D effect. So you want to click on the text itself and you can change the extrusion depth, which is basically how far back it goes, or if you pick into a minus figure, how far forward it goes. So I'm going to have this at like maybe 300, probably about 350, there you go, so that looks fine. Uh, you, if you go into scene, you can, not scene, environment, you can change like the, the shadow and the colours of the shadow, but we don't need to mess with that right now. So you can change your workspace back to essentials using the button in the top right, and then select a different layer and everything will go back to normal. But that's still not looking like... It looks cool, but it's not looking cool enough. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add something else. We're going to find like a crack, and it's pretty easy to get these in, surprisingly. So we're going to start off with a crack. Once you see how easy this is, if you're new to Photoshop, you're going to see how easy this is. And it's just when I learned how to do it, I just felt so stupid for being so naive for so long. And uh, so now you're going to drag that into the other layer initially it's going to be a bit big so you want to zoom out and press ctrl t again and if you hold shift it actually keeps the aspect ratio as you resize that so you can place that just there and then on this menu here you can scroll down until it looks like it blends in so in this case it's going to be so it's either overlay or soft light or maybe even we'll do soft light so now you've got a little crack, which looks pretty cool. And that's still looking a little bit dull, so the next thing you can do is you can add a, a flare if you want under optical flares. I mean you can get whatever one you want. I'll get this blue one here. And again you've got to unlock the layer by double clicking and press enter and drag that into your other thing. I don't think that's going to work because it's got too much background stuff but you can always experiment if you really want to so I'm going to choose a different one I'm going to close some of the stuff I've got open so I'm choosing one with like a, a solid background ideally unless you've got the time to go ahead and make it a solid background yourself there's one up here here it is so it's not the best looking one but it will do for now so you double click background and unlock the layer again then you can drag that into the other document 
so it has to be like behind the text of course and you want to go through and use this until it blends in like that Actually, you want it in front of the text I think Although it's whatever would look better in your design it, it changes from design to design uh, and that's sort of it I mean you can fiddle with the other features and all the other stuff that's inside the GFX pack there is a lot of stuff in there if I go to my desktop there's stuff in there, apparently it's 8000 I mean, if I check how many files there are 862 files so you could go ahead and fiddle with any of these which you think would look cool and just make your own designs so I hope you enjoyed watching if it helped you make sure to leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video